In 1 Thessalonians, it says, pray constantly, hold fast what is good. Well, I'm asking you today to hold to the truth of God. Often, it's easy to do that when things are going easily. But when things are difficult, when calamity happens, when a crisis happens, then we lose our anchor and we anchor ourselves in the tragedy of the moment. I pray today that you are holding fast to God, to truth, and to God life. Now, if those near to you are facing difficult challenges, it may not be easy for you to hold to words of truth and life. Sometimes with my own children, when they're going through a crisis, I think, oh my. And it, it's much harder for me in dealing with them and their crisis than it would be if I was doing it myself. Concern for our dear ones may prompt fear rather than faith. But I ask you to hold fast to your faith no matter who is involved. Your prayers for others are prayers, not worries. And you hold to words of God truth and God life. You affirm and reaffirm your faith in God's all-encompassing life, in God's ever-present goodness, and in God's ultimate greatness, in God's almighty power to triumph over any difficulty, anywhere, anytime, regardless of the seeming severity. You hold your faith in God, and you know that with God, all things are possible. You hold to this realization with your whole being, and as you hold to words of God truth and God life, your prayers are of a great help. They have a thousand times the power of ordinary prayers. They have a thousand million times the power of worries. And it's a real blessing of energy that is sent forth to others and to yourself because it comes through you. You make progress in your spiritual growth and God accomplishes a good work through the clear, open, and faith-filled channel of your mind and of your heart.